the Central Florida Fish Outlaws here today. We're here on uh, Lake Monroe in Sanford. Uh, we got outlaw Eric behind the camera. Today we're joined by David Nichols. Uh, we are using uh, Reason Frog Lures this morning. The top water lures uh, try to get big bass. You take a look at these frog lures. Uh, they're designed weedless, and that is a great thing about them. Uh, it's great to throw uh, next to a lily pad and uh, kind of brush it over the top and get it to hang over. And you'll notice it has two hooks that curl around the back. So that when the bass grabs this and pushes down on it, you're good to set the hook. Now this does create some challenges. Being that if the bass doesn't have a good hold of this, uh, setting the hook is a challenge. The, uh, the trick to that is instinctively you want to set the hook when the bass hits your lure. <clears throat> Frog lures, you got to try to wait about one, two, maybe even three seconds till he's got a good hold of it and then set your hook. And there's a few different ways you can work it. I'm going to cast that out and I'm going to show you how I like to do it. And that is just lifting your rod tip up kind of slowly. You don't want to do it too hard or too soft. And you kind of mimic a frog actually jumping. So your presentation looks as uh, real as possible. And you can also uh, throw a few side to side twitches in there. And there's nothing like watching a bass explode on that thing and reeling them in. That's what we're doing this morning. And another thing about these frog lures is uh, they do get full of water every so often and it'll uh, cause it not to stay on top anymore. So every once in a while you want to come up and squeeze it out. 